Donald Trump mocked, POTUS called as a crybaby amid refusal to concede. The current President of the United States cannot get over his defeat against newly elected President Joe Biden in the not-so-recently concluded presidential election. And up to this moment, Donald still has not conceded, as he plans to prove the election results wrong. Donald Trump wants to join Texas lawsuit. Hollywood Life reported that on December 9, Wednesday, Donald asked the Supreme Court to let him be connected to the state of Texas lawsuit. The said lawsuit attempts to declare Donald as the real winner in the four battleground states, namely Michigan, Georgia, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. Joe won all four states mentioned. The same day, the 74-year-old president ranted on Twitter without thinking about the amount of bash and ridicule he will face from the people. The tweet was flagged on the social media platform, as Donald declared massive evidence that fraud took its place in the four states during the election. He ended by convincing everyone to take a look at the affidavits and tapes. Another tweet went out from Donald's Twitter account, writing, Rigged Election. Donald Trump called a cry baby. The wise, move of Donald in tweeting his false accusations towards the election led the people on Twitter to trend the hashtag hashtag crybabytrump. The tweet comes with hate and bashing, with people yelling out Donald's crooked sportsmanship. One personality who joined the wagon is author John Pavlovitz where he wrote that young kids are better at showing sportsmanship than Donald, who is already mature enough to do so. On the other hand, one Twitter account listed the country's past presidents who wholeheartedly accepted their defeat. See it here. Donald Trump still won't concede. IB Times India quoted, We will be intervening in the Texas, plus many other states, case. This is the big one. Our country needs a victory. The statement is from the president via Twitter, alongside another tweet saying no candidate has ever won Ohio and Florida, so he beat them both with massive votes. Chicago Tribune called out Donald by tagging as dangerous, idiotic nonsense. That said, the outlet divulged that he is a loser that is very willing to put the country's democracy to rest. For the time being. Joe is still not officially elected as the new president until December 14, when the Electoral College meets. For that, Donald is utilizing the remaining days not to let that happen, as he seems to be so in love with power.